Residents of Miami-Dade, getting your COVID-19 vaccination is an important part. Help everyone stay safe as we continue to fight the spread. And we can protect those most vulnerable around us. With easy access to vaccination locations and the growing ability for more people to be protected, it's our best shot to keep moving forward. It's our best shot for a strong, healthy community. For more information, visit miamidade.gov slash vaccine. And this is WDNA 88.9 FM and WDNA.org in the internet. And this is the UN Frost Yes Hour that comes to you every Thursday at uh, 11 a.m. And we have uh, uh, some of the, our favorite musicians here Max Marcillo on drums, uh, Leo Folson on keyboards, and Marty Queen on bass. You know, I, will, I, I, I don't know how to call them whether live adjuncts or uh, artists in residence. You know, you'll pick, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, and, um, and they, we are on the first, on the, as um, the first week of our full membership drive, where we're playing the good music you love and asking for your support. And we have amazing gifts, like our brand new Navy tote bag and our popular 90s retro design. Give online at WDN8. Dot org and, uh, and or uh, call us at uh, 305-662-8889. Uh, how's that? 662-8889, okay? Yes, sir. 662-8889. Yes. 662 Yes, sir. And uh, we're gonna start the show now. Uh, this is all your 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 charts, right? Yes. Yes, sir. And the first one, the Timekeeper by Marty Quinn.
He sounds like a thousand of applauses there. Eh? He sounds. Like <laughs> he knows what I mean. Anyway, uh, w I want to repeat. I hope that you you uh, enjoy that three or five six six two eighty eight eighty nine. Eh? And um, but this is serious, guys. That you. Uh, we need you to call 305-662-8889 and, um, and just give your, uh, your donation, whether it's a, a good, a large donation or a small donation, we, we need you present at this, uh, at this moment. Uh, we need you twice a year, and this is very serious because this station survives by means of all of you out there. And, uh, and that's it, you know, let us hear those phones, 305-662-8889. And also, uh, I want to say that um, this uh, WDNA doesn't belong or support any kind of, uh, a, you know, like University of Miami or uh, a, any a agency, a federal or local. And so, so we want to make that clear. Actually, we paid some money for to WDNA in order for, to, uh, you know, to do the, this kind of show. So anyway, uh, we're going to go to our second song here. All the tunes are by, by Marty Queen. And this is called Doors Closing. Want to talk a little bit about that tune or no? Right now or after? We no, they, yeah, yeah, we can go after, yeah.
All righty. Very nice. Uh, now we're going to uh, talk a little bit with you. And uh, it seems like what I see here on the, your bio that you were you were born in Chicago, right? Yeah, I was born in Chicago. Grew up there until I was uh, 18, so my whole life was in the Midwest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so many, so many great musicians uh, from Chicago. Mm -hmm. Actually, my my favorite rock band, Chicago, is from there. You know? <laughs> right, 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 of course. And yeah. that's Chicago for, for me. It's the greatest rock band that, that ever existed. Yeah, amazing horn lines and everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and anyway, it says that you moved to Ohio to study opera. Yeah, that's the story. Can you uh, so, amplify a, a, a little bit on that? Yeah, so uh, when I was in high school, I was involved in the arts. I mean, as early as five, my mom was taking us around to a whole bunch of things in the city. That's the lucky thing about growing up in that area is that there's so many avenues to, to see things for free in the community. And, you know, like she would take us to acapella yeah. groups and, and colleges to see shows and stuff. So I was really excited and into theater and musicals, dance. Uh, but Chicago and, is a great city, you know. It's amazing, yeah. yeah it was it flourishing is, yeah. with that stuff. So um, when I was uh, a young kid, I was always doing all of the arts. And when I was in high school, I was doing dance and theater, and I played bass, but I wasn't doing jazz band. I wasn't in any programs like that. So mm -hmm. I played electric bass, and I didn't know how to read music very well, and I didn't know any scales or anything like that. So I yeah. was 18, and I had to decide on college, and I how, knew I... How, uh, how uh, did you learn how to read music, just by yourself, or you something right. that so came out? Right, so I took one theory class my senior year, and I took it really seriously, and I was like, okay, I'm going to practice really hard to try to understand this, but with the time with auditions coming up, I didn't have enough time to audition on bass, so I knew that I was singing, and the requirements to get in at this school in Ohio were sing a couple pieces of musical theater and, and arias, and I was like, okay, well, I've done that before, so I feel comfortable doing that. I didn't have to worry too much about doing scales and theory at the time. So I auditioned, and they let me in, and when I went to that school, Capital University in Ohio, it was great, and right away I loved it, but after one semester, I kind of knew that the opera thing wasn't really what I was there to do. It was just my way of getting in at first, and then I bought an upright bass at that age when I was 19, and just practiced like as much as I could to work my way up to, to here, I guess. That was in, in, uh, in Ohio, right? That was in Ohio. Uh, in, yeah. in Ohio, and when did you come to uh, Frost? I came to Frost right when I finished in Ohio. So I did four years in Columbus, and then I guess when I was 22, I moved here for my master's, because I met Chuck I'm at the- about, uh, Yeah, so you did your, uh, uh, your master's here. Yes, I did my yeah. master's at Frost, yeah. All righty. Uh, that, that, that's wonderful. Well, we, we're going to keep going here if we want to get to the end of the program here. You yeah, know, you, of course. We, we have a lot of music to hear. Yeah. So, uh, 305 662 8889. I want to repeat that 305 662 8889. And please sponsor this program. Mm. The UM Frost Jazz Hour uh, doesn't go out in the air if it's not from your, you know, from your sponsor, from your gifts. Uh, that, that you do every day. You know, the, the guys here are saying yes, because they know, you know, that uh, we won't be here because, uh, if it's not because of you. All righty. And uh, so we're going to listen now to something called Together. Mm -hmm. Anything special about this song? Yeah, so this is the one song of the set that is not written by us. And, and the compositions are, like, everybody has brought in their own pieces. So the last one we did, I wrote... Um, But the first one we did was one that Leo did. And so this group kind of came together because I love their writing so much. And I'm a person who kind of, when I'm writing by myself, I kind of doubt my ideas very quickly. I'll write something and then be like, oh, I don't want to use that. And I like these guys a lot because there's no judgment. So we've all sort of brought in tunes and written them together or sort of arranged them and really made the structures feel strong and it's really great to play with these guys and well this is a great trio you know yeah I mean, yeah yeah I definitely. mean Leo is part of the a, of the a, a studio from uh, Martin Bejerano yes which is about everybody there is great oh yeah you know I mean I'm not saying this because you're here you know uh, yeah, but it really it is you know there's some uh, yeah, guitar players too you know they're all Great. Yes, you know. definitely. So, uh, so we're going to listen now to Together. Yes.
And now we're gonna take a short break and we'll be right back. And uh, here we are back. Remember to uh, uh, dial 305-662-8889. We're in the first week of our phone uh, racing drive. And I uh, would we'll like very much, uh, by especially the uh, big family of uh, alumnus, uh, family, faculty, everybody at UM, and give us uh, a, a little bit uh, of... Uh, a donation here, and we'll be very happy about that. Uh, I want to remind you that next week we're going to have David Mason, the great uh, sax players, and um, uh, I think that Marty, you're going to be back, right? Yeah. <coughs> also with uh, Connor Roder this time on piano, um, and Lucas Apostoletis on drums. You know, he's another one with he's a artist in residence here. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna um, uh, we got um, we got four uh, yeah three three more tunes yeah 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 three more tunes uh, th this is called snow dance.
That was uh, uh, Snow Dance by Marty Queen. And, uh, oh, Marty, I'm sorry, man, you know. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, uh, I mentioned David Mason, who's going to be our guest. Um, his trio is going to be uh, our guest next week. And I want to mention also that um, some of the artists that are going to be featuring here, uh, Mong Mingus Ensemble, uh, with John Hart as, as the, their leader, um, Michael Gutierrez, uh, Dante Luciani, Brian Lynch, Daphne Prieto, uh, Etienne Charles uh, with his uh, group, the Blue Note Ensemble. And next semester, we're going to have the concert jazz band who hasn't been here like in four years. Wow. Yeah. And uh, he and the week after they played, they were going to have uh, John Daversa with Tao Cohen. They're going to be right here. So this is, this is the kind of quality, this is the kind of music that we bring you every week. Uh, make notice, make notice, a special UN people that are listening to me. We are not asking for $1 million or even less than that. We are uh, asking for get your uh, uh, dial 305-662-8889 and uh, just make a donation. And little by little, you know, we'll, uh, we'll accomplish, as a matter of fact, uh, we'll, uh, we want you to help us reach our goal of $500 for the hour. Okay, guys, $500 we got to make for the hour. So right now, uh, you got uh, like 10 minutes left. So here we are. Get your 305 662 and we're going to play something called Gardening in the sky. We're skipping that one. We're going straight. Oh, you're keeping that one. Okay. That wins approval.
that was uh, Darwin's approval. And uh, here we go to uh, the last song of the of the day, uh, called Daydream Monopoly. Wanna uh, uh, beg you to uh, not beg you, but please let let, let us have um, a, you know like um, a little bit of help for this next three or four minutes to uh, get to our goal, which is five hundred dollars for the hour. So here we are, Daydream Monopoly. See you next week. I guess before we get cut off, I do want to say that uh, the three of us have all felt the impact of WDNA and how special it is. And uh, so speaking of donations, everything helps. Um, they're a wonderful organization. They have so much music in town. They support local artists. I've seen them do it to every musician I play with here. You get a chance to work on original music here. Your teachers bring you here to play with ensembles, jazz encounters on Friday nights. There's so many wonderful things about this radio station. So uh, yeah, any, anything helps. So thank you before. And this last tune is called Daydream Monopoly. Thank you. 